you were telling me that your home place here in County Mayo is now in New York, is that right? That's true. It was taken over as uh, the centenary celebrations in New York and was rebuilt in Battery City Park, or Battery Park City. And um, they took it, all the stones, now they didn't rebuild it as it was. They, they didn't number the stones when they were taking them. They just took them and rebuilt it as they thought. But it's very authentic. It's built exactly as a ruined cottage would be. And the idea of the park is that it's, uh, we are the people in the, we are the statues really when we visit the park. And the landscape is exactly the same. Very, very much, very, very authentic. Uh, same as it would be in the west of Ireland. A lot of the flowers were sourced in Connemara and they were brought over as seeds because foot and mouth was rampant at the time so they couldn't bring plants. Um, the, um, the reason for our cottage was that it was field stone that was built of. They didn't want uh, cut stone. They wanted to be very authentic. It, 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 when they knocked it down, it, was, it wasn't built with lime and mortar. It was uh, what they call blue clay or do adobe or adobe, most people would know it as, uh, and uh, they wouldn't have used cement. It was built before the famine, as far as we know. Uh, we don't have a date, of course, for, for, and they didn't even have to measure it when they're bringing it over because all the cottages were the same size and all the windows were the same size. Um, what, size what size were they? I, I don't honestly know. I probably started off as a one-roomed and then they added on. It was a two, a three-roomed cottage uh, when I lived in it. And when, when, when were you born? I was born in 45. And when did you leave that house? And we left in 63. And did that house, did it fall into this repair? It just fell in straight away. Uh, we moved to another house. My mother had a slated house when she married, but they moved into the thatched house. And the roof went off it then? The roof went off it, yeah. Now, fortunately, uh, they sometime in the 1930s they put a galvanized roof over half it mm -hmm. and they left the thatch intact so i still have some of the thatch mm -hmm. and interestingly when they were thatching it they didn't use willow osiers they used briar okay and the briar was like steel it was pure hard uh, and it had survived my father always used briar and a lot of the local people in our area use briar for thatching. Yeah, and back home in Wexford we use sallies. Sallies, Soak yeah. sallies and twist them. And yeah, but well, that's in. what most people, 99% of people would have used sallies. Yeah. But uh, in our area they seem to use briar a fair bit. Right. And when did, when did the artist approach you? Or how did that happen? He, he uh, the artist and his partner, Brian Klein, uh, he, Brian Klein had a photograph. He came to the Ireland uh, when he was about 10 and he had took a picture of the old house, even though there was nobody living in it at the time. And that was the picture that Brian Tall saw. Brian Tall, when he was in Ackle, he one evening he was down in the deserted village, the Bully village, or some people call it a famine village. Mm -hmm. And the shadows of the gables were thrown across the landscape and he was so taken with the landscape that he said he'd recreate uh, what it looked like and that would be the monument and we would be the figures in when we visited we would be the figures in the landscape gorgeous and what so, was the town's land again where that that cut your home came out it's caradugan seti mass parish uh, and the village is caradugan the um the interesting thing about the site is that it's a quarter of an acre and during the famine there was a clause called the Gregory Clause where William Gregory introduced it in the House of Commons he was married to Lady Gregory and under the Gregory Clause if you own more than a quarter of an acre you had to give it up in order to qualify for a leaf so the, the quarter acre is uh, part of our history Right, and in many was where your own family in many brothers and sisters did you I had a brother and a sister when mm. my brother's alive, my sister's died. And what was your, your mother and father's name? Uh, Thomas and Margaret, Thomas Slack, Margaret Slack. Now, the Slacks came to Ireland in 1690s. They mm. came as tenants mm. uh, of the landlord, 
and interestingly there are Catholics mm -hmm. because the rent books uh, for the that particular landlord survived so we, we can we know exactly where they came from they came from Derbyshire and uh, they've been around in different places since wow, lovely. and inside you visited the, 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 the yeah, garden I was there for the opening and it was back in 1908 I think and 2008. And when you walked into the rooms, were you walking into the same rooms you walked into as a chap? It's more or less, more or less. They recreated the same size, but obviously you have to walk through it. So the doors where there were oh, no yeah. doors. Yeah, yeah. And the the um, the tunnel that you go through is lined with a script dealing with famine all over the world and famine in Ireland. And the script changes oh. uh, as time goes by. They add and take away. And do you even remember having an dresser room where you ate your dinner in that house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't luxury, let's put it that way. It wasn't <laughs> I mean, really. there was no running water, no electricity. No. Um, cooking on the open fire in a crane. Cooking ways. on the open fire, yeah. yeah. But that was standard at the time, so it was neither worse nor better than anybody else. Yeah, and my old mother and father were the same, so we, we yeah. did the same thing. The gas cooker changed a lot for the women. Yeah, and the electricity. Uh, it did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And was there a dresser in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there was an outshot where, uh, with the bed in it, that was standard. Was the outshot there? Yeah. For the older person, the, the grandmother or the yeah, grandfather yeah, to sleep in. Yeah. Uh, is the outshot in the one in, in New York? I find I can't remember. It probably is. I'm yeah. sure. They, I'm sure they rebuilt it to scale the same scale. And what's left there now in the spot now where it was taken from? The hearthstone was all. There was a big uh, flag in front of the hearth. They didn't take that. They just left it. And it's gone wild. If you visited it now today, you wouldn't be able to walk through it. Uh, we we didn't maintain it very well. There's a memorial stone in Caradugan, um, which they be about six foot high, and it's I don't know how much of it is underground. And uh, they took that from an un, uh, somewhere in Manhattan. They were building. A, underground so they took a, a rock from there and they brought it over in, in return for the house <laughs> and you, you can you can see that's all that's of interest to be seen on the site now brilliant lovely listen thanks a million for telling me that and thanks for your time appreciate that's that sad. no it's in you can google it it's uh, it's very well done on the website yeah and uh, a lot of comments come in it's it's become very popular in new york yeah. It's become, uh, you know, it's even people who weren't Irish. I was in it once and there was a Japanese tour and uh, I just told them that I was, they weren't believing me at first. <laughs> but uh, they weren't over impressed anyway. They were, uh, well, I'd be impressed. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, if you had a link with Ireland, like probably 40, 50 million people have a link with Ireland. Yeah. And uh, I think people go there and bring a sandwich and a cup of coffee. And, yeah. Just enjoy them. It, it it's very authentic. It's very uh, exactly. It's recreated exactly as the landscape in the yeah. west of Ireland. Brilliant. Thanks, Ah, da 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 da